God made you to love you. God wants to be on your side. He doesn't want to be against you. He wants to be on your side. God wants us to be with him. We read further in John chapter 3, verse 17, Jesus didn't come down to condemn us. He came to live alongside us and to redeem us, to pick us up and pay the price to give us eternal life, to bring us back to God. Well, there's more to this grace story than just knowing about it. The first thing in 2019, you have to know that God is on your side. The second thing you have to do in 2019 is not just know about it, you have to accept God's grace. Ephesians chapter 2, let's look at it. But because of his great love for us, see, that's what we were talking about already. Because of his great love for us, God, who is poor in mercy, what is the word? God is what? Rich in mercy. Made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. And then this thought comes all the way through many different times through the New Testament. Let's read it together. It is by grace you have been saved. It is by grace you have been saved. Wow. Paul writes, God is rich in mercy. God wants to give us his grace and extend it to us. And we must accept it. We had the privilege in the last couple of weeks to visit our son in London, England. I had never been to London, England, so I was really excited. First of all, I wanted to see our son and his wife. But next, there is a lot of history in London and so on. And so uh, we had the privilege of walking through one of the world famous art museums on Trafalgar Square. And I was not prepared for the magnitude of that museum. And in London, there are magnificent museums that are huge. So anyhow, when we're going through this art museum, I was just taken aback by the huge tapestries and the carvings and the monuments. And all of these were at the very beginning of where we started. They, they were there to honor God and, and, and to express uh, his love toward us. And it was breathtaking to see how huge, you know, I think of a painting about this size, not covering a whole wall, and a tapestry covering a whole wall. Stories to tell of God's love and grace toward us. But this morning, I learned from Ephesians chapter 2 that nothing we erect, nothing we weave, or nothing that's covered with gold and silver can describe or picture God's love for you and God's love for us. He offers it to us freely. It is the gift of God, the gift of God. So we need to enter 2019 by accepting God's wonderful and free grace. And listen, that's a decision only you can make. Will you accept his free grace, his free love? It's for you.